Hey guys, how are you? This is Brave and welcome back. So in today's video, I will show you how to set up the newly launched Zalith Launcher 2 in your Android phones. And it is pretty straight. So without wasting any time, let's get straight to the video. And yes, I am really sorry for not posting for about three months and I am trying to be regular again. And yeah, so if you are new to my channel, don't forget to subscribe and like the video. So yes, let's start. First, you have to download the Zalus launcher itself from GitHub and also the Mobile Glues app. So it's kind of a renderer that we will use. So to download both, you have to go to the Chrome and you have to search Zalith Launcher 2 GitHub. When you search Zalith Launcher 2, just click on it and you will go to the web page. So you have to click on the very first website, the GitHub one. So click on it and then this page will open. So from here, you have to like click here on the releases. As you can see here, just click on the releases and you'll be directed to the download page. And from here, you have to download the APK file of Zalith Launcher 2, as you can see here. So here you can see there are a lot of APK files here. So which APK file you have to download? So to check the supported version, first, you have to check the architecture of your CPU and the processor, which is in your Android device. So to check this, you have to download this app called the Device Info app. So you have to go to the Play Store and you can download this from there. And just click on Device Info app and then go to the CPU tab, as you can see here. And from here, as you can see here, I have my processor here. And you have to check the supported ABIs. So as you can see here is the supported ABIs, which says ARM64 V8A, ARM EABI V7A, and ARM EABI. All right, so I can download any of these versions. So now I will go back to my GitHub page, and from here I will download the ARM64 V8A as it supports my Android. So I will just click on the very first APK file, and the download will start, hopefully. And yes, it's getting downloaded. So I will just wait here. So let's wait. So as you can see here, it's just being downloaded and it is done. So I will just install the launcher from here. Just click on the APK file and I will install it. So the Zalus Launcher 2 has been installed. So I will just click on the done and we will open it later. So now we have to download the Mobile Glues app. So I will just go back to the search bar and I will write here, Mobile Glues and you will get the GitHub at the very top. So just click on the GitHub page link, and you will be directed to the Mobile Glues application page. And from here, you have to download this APK file. There is only one, so just download it. So the APK file is being downloaded. I'll just wait here. So our APK file of the Mobile Glues app has been downloaded. I'll just click on it and I will install it as well. So now I will go back. So we have both of the apps downloaded and installed here. So first we will open the Mobile Glues app. So just open the application. And now when you open it, you will see the setting here called Modify Renderer Settings. So just click on it, and it will ask for the permission. So just click on OK. And now here in this directory, when it opens your file manager, you have to create a folder here. So just click on the Create New Folder. Now name the folder MG, all in uppercase, just MG, and click on OK. And now you have to click on the Use This Folder. Just click on it and allow it. Now here we are back to the app. So here you have to set something. So first you have to click on the top bar which says Max GLSL Cache Size. So just click on it. And you have to set it to 30. All right, just set it to 30. And now you have to click here at the Use Angle as Open GLES Driver. Click on it and set it to Enable. All right, our work here is done. Now you just have to close the app. I will just close it. Now we will go to the Zalith Launcher, so just click on it, and our launcher will open. So here we are in our Zalith Launcher application. So here in Zalith Launcher 2, you will see a lot of things here. So you just have to click on the Install button, so it can install all the dependencies and all the files. So just click on Install, and it will begin the installation. So you just have to wait here. 
So as you can see here, our file has been installed. And now we have to set the settings of the launcher. So what we will do is we will go to the settings. Just click on the setting button on the top right corner. Just click on that button and it will direct you to the settings of the launcher. So just click on it and here we are in the settings. So here, first you have to go to the global render section. All right, so here in global render section, just click on the global renderer. And now here, you have to select the mobile glues renderer that we set up. So just click on the mobile glues renderer. As you can see, it has been selected here. So now come down and you can set the resolution scale here. So lower resolution mean high performance and high resolution means low performance. It depends on your device actually. So I'll be using lower resolution to get a better performance. And here you can turn off this full screen mode if you want, but I will leave it as it is. And now come below and here you can check the sustained performance mode to on and you can toggle it on. And now our setting here is pretty much done. And also turn the turn on the toggle of force high performance score so it can give you maximum performance. And yeah, it is done. So now I will go to the game section and here you can do settings if you want, like memory allocation. So I will just check the memory allocation, and I will set the memory to 2 gigabytes. If you want, you can use 1 gigabyte as well. So I will set it as 2 gigabytes. And yeah, it is all right. And you can do anything here, so as you want. Now I will just leave the controls section as it is, because there's nothing to do here. And yeah, it is done actually. So here's the gamepad settings as well. You can customize these settings if you want, but I will leave the rest of the things as they are. And our work here is pretty much done. And yeah, so let's go back here and now we have to install our versions. I will just click on the no install version text here. You will see above the launch button, just click on it, and I will just click on the button, and I am here. So now from here you have to click on the install new button. Just click on the button and you will be directed here. Now from here you can download any version you want, so I will just come below and I will choose 1.2, 1.1, and yeah, here it is. Now here from here I will choose the Optifine. Just click on the Optifine and now select the 1.2, 1.1 version and click on the download button that you will see below the settings button and it will start downloading. And it is requesting a permission, so just click on request permission because it will be taking storage. So as you can see here, our downloading has been started, so I will meet you when it is done. Alright, so guys, here we are, and our Optifine has been downloaded, the Minecraft version we selected. So for now, you have to click on the Settings button, you will find beside the version name. So just click on it, and from here, you have to go to the Configuration. And in Configuration tab, you have to come down. And here you will see the renderer section. So just click on the renderer and you have to select the mobile glues renderer and just click on it and it has been selected. So just now you have to go back, click on the launch and when you launch the game first, it will ask about a local account. So here we will create an account. Just click on the offline button as you can see here. Just click on the offline which is below the Microsoft if you have not purchased the game from Microsoft. And now you have to put username here. So I will be using just Brave, and I will confirm it. And here our account has been created. So now again, go back and click on Launch. And when you receive this warning, you just have to click here at the authorization. So just click here, and now you will see it says to manage all files. Just enable it, and now go back. And now again, you have to click on the launch, and hopefully our game will start. So yes, as you can see here, our game is starting. So just wait here. You can see here our game is starting right now, and we are on the Mojang Studios screen, and just wait here. And here we are in the game, and things are looking pretty great as you can see here. I'm getting decent FPS and it is good. So yes, this was today's video. If you like the video, don't forget to subscribe and like. And also, if you need more tutorial videos, you can comment down. I'll be doing my best to make them. See y'all later.